My name is Barbara Oakley. I'm a professor of engineering at Oakland University, and I work with the University of California, San Diego, and with Coursera as their inaugural innovation instructor. My course that I've taught with Terence Sanowski, the Francis Crick professor at the Salk Institute, is the world's largest or massive open online course. We've got close to two million students now, registered students. If you're learning to drive a car, you don't just sit there, put it in reverse gear, and then you back up, and then, hey, magically, you suddenly know how to back up a car. You have to practice with it. So learning in chemistry is a lot like learning to back up your car. Each specific bit of information you need to know and, and concept, you want to practice with it until it flows smoothly in your mind. So what this does is it develops neural patterns that are well connected and you can easily draw these patterns to mind. This is what we call the concept of neural chunking. And chunking is important in any kind of learning. Getting this expertise with this particular tidbit and that little bit of information, and then you've practiced enough, and then you can relate them both together. You learn chemistry in much the same way you learn to sing or you learn to play a musical instrument. The OWL system, what that seems to do is it allows students to naturally get that practice that helps build the connections within their minds in a way that slightly different each time. And when they, when they make a mistake, they get a little feedback. And that feedback isn't two weeks later when the assignment is graded, it's immediate. So rapid feedback and a lot of feedback and opportunities to practice are absolutely critical for developing any kind of expertise. And I think that systems like OWL will be exactly what we need to help students to develop well in this, this age. A lot of times students just say, I can't do chemistry, not because they can't do it, but because they don't know how to learn effectively. And this system kind of naturally propels them into effective ways of learning. Making mistakes is the best way that we learn. We don't really learn from doing it right. We learn it from the surprise when we think we've done it right, and then we check it and we haven't. That's when we step back all of a sudden and begin to really look critically at whatever we're trying to learn. Gentle systems that allow us to make lots of mistakes without punitively um, sort of making us dislike the material, but just sort of gently giving us a little feedback that allows for surprise are terrific systems to help in mastery sorts of learning where you can, you can get there, you just need practice to, to get to where you wanna go.